Hey guys, welcome back to Live Your Style. I'm Shara and today I'm very excited because I'm officially starting a new series called Making the Most of Our Small Space. Tyler and I are gonna take you guys through our little small apartment in LA and show you room by room what we're doing and how we're approaching it. The first step, I really wanna show you naturally how I've approached this apartment and what I've done and I've really been focusing on unpacking, organizing, and storage because we've got a small space and you don't want it to feel overcrowded or cluttered or any of that. You want it to feel livable and clean and organized. So I thought I'd show you guys a few quick tips on how we've done that. If you guys want to subscribe to my channel, I'm going to throw it in real quick right up front. We make awesome videos every single week and we'll be making even more as this new year has arrived. I think you guys are going to love it. So click subscribe and let's get started. Number one, switch out all of your thick and bulky hangers for thin, smooth fabric ones. Not only does this look better, but it actually saves you a lot of storage because believe it or not, those plastic hangers get in the way and they cause a lot of missed storage. They're just bulky, get rid of them. Number two, raise your bed on bed risers. I'm gonna link the brands that Tyler and I got on Amazon below. They're fabulous, you have different heights that you can use. They're really sturdy. The best thing about lifting a bed is now you've created a ton of under bed storage, which is a great real estate for hiding things that you don't use that often or seasonal clothing. Which leads me to number three, using Ziploc suction bags for your clothing, your sweaters, things that you do not wear. If it's summer, put away your sweaters under your bed. This is what we call last season, but still cute and I don't want to give it away. Go, yeah, you're being loud, girlfriend. If you have other items that are just seasonal that you don't use, you find they're just taking up storage, find a place for them underneath your bed in a Ziploc bag. This is summer, we are in winter. It doesn't look like it outside, but it feels like it, at least for California. It's not a toy, ladies and gentlemen. And no, this is not sponsored, however, very handy, don't you think? I'll link those below too. Number four, convince your husband to buy a Pax Ikea wardrobe system. And if he doesn't, start saving. It's actually not that expensive for a wardrobe system. It's the cheapest out there, but it will give you so much more flexibility with creating organized storage for your closet. Um, I selected these really fun and unique uh, organization options. One was for the jewelry sectioning. I thought it was beautiful because it gives each of my necklaces and bracelets their own little home and it's a glass top and it's so fabulous and the other one was the pant hanger because when you hang pants that's the other thing hanging pants next to your shirts or your dresses or whatever can get bulky so if you have a separate section for them like I do you're able to section it out and really maximize the space and make it really easy to get ready it's like clueless did you guys ever see that movie I'm just getting ready I'm still waiting for that app to come out where my closet runs like a dry cleaner and I can pick out my outfit on a computer that would be cool. But until then, Pax IKEA wardrobe system is the best. Also, with your hanging clothes, make sure you color coordinate them. That makes it really easy to define your mood. If you're in a black mood or a white mood or a color mood, you can pick a clothing item right out of that section and you're not kind of like overwhelmed. Helps you kind of identify what you have in your closet too. At least for me. Number five, this is a really tough one for me. If Tyler was here, he would attest to that. Tyler challenged me to only save shoes that I had enough storage space to store. Meaning, he counted the slots for shoes and said I got to only keep X amount of shoes. Anything over that, I either had to put in storage or I had to throw out or donate. I donated them, let's be real. Throwing out shoes, that's like a crime. This one was really hard for me. I had a lot of shoes, some that really weren't even in style anymore. For some reason, I did not want to get rid of them. That whole argument of, well, what if there's that one party that is totally a costume and these shoes are back in and I need to wear them. That party's never gonna happen and if it does happen, you'll probably wanna go out and buy new shoes. So just donate them, toss them, get rid of them. You know what I mean? I hope you guys enjoyed this video on bedroom storage and organization. I know that I sure have enjoyed it because it has simplified my life and they really are great tips that actually work and actually help. Leave me a comment below if you guys have other tips that have helped you guys organize and store all of your things in your bedrooms. I know a lot of you guys live in small spaces as well. 
So leave me your comments below. I would love to read them. Thank you so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up on this video if you guys loved it. And I'm going to try something different. What would you guys rather see next? How to decorate a living room or how to organize and decorate an office? Or a desk? Desk goals or living room goals? Leave me a comment below which one you'd rather see next week. And if your comment wins, then that'll be what we put up. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button for me. If you can, it'll be somewhere around here. And I'm going to see you guys next week. Bye-bye.